everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Vista Gardens vlog today. I'm Jacqueline DuPont, the ED here at Vista Gardens, and I absolutely love this place. However, I wanted to bring up a topic that a lot of you are emailing me lately on, and that is, what are some unique questions while touring a memory care that you wouldn't think of? They're not on the standard top 10 list. You know, the standard top 10 ratio of care. What's the food look like? Are there odors? You know, do people smile? Those kind of things. So these are a little more unique. And one of the questions that really relates to quality of care, there's a correlation between quality of care and longevity of management. And it's not a topic you would typically think of, like do I walk into this facility and ask how long has the director of the memory care been there, like the director of nurses or resident services? How long has the staff developer been there? How long has the culinary or dietary director been there? How long has the administrator been there? How long has the activity director been there? And, and I know those are really specific. However, you want quality of care. You want that equation to equal that. So the way to ask it is really yes. So I'm gonna ask my staff, we're all here today at a management meeting going over um, resident care and number of items we meet um, weekly and really go into depth on each department and what's going on and then what are our goals for the week. But after we did all of that today, I wanted them to report to you how long they've been here. So Mara, how long have you been at Vista Gardens? Over seven years. I was here actually two weeks before the building was officially open. Wow, what a great hire. We're so lucky to have you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I love being here. Oh, well, we love you being here. Evelyn, how long have you been here? I have been here before since we opened our doors. So oh, wow. before July of 2011. By the way, with a perfect three-year history on your survey. That you is deserve correct. a big hug. Thank you. A hug. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dee, how long have you been here? I've been here a little Dee's our dietary three, director. Over three years. Wow, mm -hmm. we are lucky and we thank love you. your comfort food. Oh, all right. Thank yeah, you. and your staff loves you. And by the way, her memo today to her staff was hilarious. Uh, you got to tell them about it. Um, I'm going on vacation for three days. <laughs> so um, I wrote this memo and I put it up in the butler room. And I just said to, I reinforced how bright their star is. And I said, well, I'm, a, well, I'm away to even lighten their the, yes, and lighten sorry. their day even more, mm -hmm. and our day even more, and do not call off. And do not call off. <laughs> yes, and they're not going to. They, they won't. Do that it's too. a great staff. It was such a beautiful memo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it just Positive. shows your big heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easter, how long have you been here, our staff developer, who does, you know, staff development is a rare um, position. Portion. Very needed, though, and we're successful because of you, because you are great to our staff. So, how long have you been here, great person? <laughs> um, uh, seven years. Wow. wow. She was our first Very caregiver. First wow. Caregiver. The the first hired. caregiver? Yes. It was wow. me and Easter and one resident when we started. Wow. Oh, gosh. I was here in the early on, too. <laughs> yes, you were here. <laughs> when, there, when there was dirt. When there was dirt. <laughs> and no policies. Oh, okay. <laughs> you love me for those. So, yes. hi, Easter. That is phenomenal. And, and our mm. caregivers love you. And it, daily, Easter and Rachel um, do an amazing job, but have a daily meeting that goes over training and specifics that every single resident's going on. How, how did you guys come up with that idea? Oh, I told you to do it. <laughs> I was going to say our wonderful I executive <laughs> director. <laughs> <laughs> having so many different needs and you had mentioned it Dee mm -hmm. to have a daily kind of change of shift mm -hmm. so, um, communication right. and communication is so important right but we're happy you're here Rachel oh my gosh just a wonderful director of our oh, whole yeah. entire building <laughs> of all our nursing all our med techs all our caregivers mm -hmm. how long have you been here six years oh my goodness going on seven and wow. Rachel started as a PM Med Tech. Oh, and your talent is medication administration. Correct. Really, you are just the bomb when it comes to figuring out every single problem, every single mar, every single pill. And today, you did what? Uh, we had a medication audit with our pharmacy today. Wow, looked yeah. hard. It was long and hard. <laughs> Thank you again, Rachel, for your amazing care. Our marketing team isn't here because they're busy. 
However, they are equally as, um, as caring and kind and compassionate and really have that, like you said, hands-on approach. They're on the floor, like all They're of us. They're on the floor. They're cheerleaders on the floor. They are. They're, They're advocates. Yep. Yeah. And great communicators. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think the key to great memory care is having a great team, of course, but having good communication. And we all communicate well, which in turn, we communicate well with our families because we're happy working here. But we also disseminate information better, I think, when you're happier and you're all on the same page. You guys agree with that? Yeah, I don't ever hesitate to, to go to any manager and express a concern or I need help with something. So, all right, yeah. yeah. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope that really brought to light a different issue of when you're touring, which is, you know, dig into the management, really try to see, is this a brand new, fresh group? Um, do they have the experience? If it's a brand new facility, that's gonna be a little difficult, but you could ask, how long have your managers been in the field? So if they're brand new to ABC facility, don't necessarily rule them out. I'm not saying to do that, because you can also find out if they've worked other places, if they've had other great experiences. Correct. So yeah, thank you for tuning in today.